Hello everyone. Uh, in part one, we talked about how you find the solution for any type of uh, submitting questions. In this part, I would like to practice our knowledge we got from uh, the part one. If you didn't watch part one, I highly recommend you to watch it and uh, we clearly discuss it and showed you how to find the submitting uh, solution for the questions you have. So uh, today we would like to do some practice uh, through this website. This is a good website which allows you to create account and also if you like to have a premium account you will get uh, uh, many features but for the free account is sufficient for today's uh, video so let's get started for this we go to free submitting tools and click uh, submitting practice here we go we have the first uh, question which asks the first valid host as we mentioned in the previous video part one for finding the first valid it is good to find the network id so how we find the network id and uh, for finding the network ID, what we do, let's write the IP address again in order to have it in one place. Slash 29. First step, we change this 29 to a subnet mask. So we have to convert it to the, the octet. So we have to write 29 once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 24. 1, 2, 3. Let me make it smaller. So 8, 8, 8, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 1 2 3 left so uh, the second step is to convert in this these octet to a uh, subnet mask so we mentioned in the first video the total of this octet is 25 255 255 255 and for this we have to calculate it 1 to 8 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 and plus 8 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 I have a calculator here and I will calculate it 248 so we have the subnet mask 248 so the Second step is finding the network ID. How you find the network ID? From the three rules. We said if we have 255 as a subnet mask, we can just put the IP address. So let's put 10 134 219. And for the subnet mask, which is not 0 or 255, we have to do a small calculation, uh, which is 256 minus the subnet mask is equals 256 minus 248 equals 8 and then the number we get from this we do increment incrementing it until we get the IP address so what we do 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 uh, let me use the calculator here. 8 plus 8 plus 8. And the number should be bigger than this number. So we got 56 plus 8, 64. So we got 56, 64. 
So this is the last number and we use the number before the last number, 56. We just put it here. This will be the network ID. And first valid IP will be the network ID plus one. 10, 1, 3, 4, dot, 219.57 so this should be the the first valid IP address so let's put it there and see check our answer it is correct or not correct so our calculation was good so let's go to the next question click next uh, what's the shorthand corresponding to a subnet mask of this? So in this one, it asks for this shorthand, this. So how you find it? Let's write the subnet mask first. Sorry, two four zero zero two zero. Uh, to find in the shorthand, first we change the uh, the subnet mask to uh, octet. So we have 8 octet here on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, for 2, 4, 0, we have to calculate it. 1, 2, 8 plus 64 plus 32. I believe it will be the right number. 1, 2, 8. 2, 2, 4 plus 8. Sorry, this is my mistake. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16. So we have to calculate here also. So we have to make 4 octet on. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and the rest will be 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now it is easy to find the shorthand. What we do, we have 8 and 4, so this should be 12. So let's check our answer. Don't forget to put this 12. Submit, correct. Our answer is correct. So let's go to the next question. Okay, enter the first valid host on the network. So it's same like the first question. We have an IP address with the shorthand. 0 so the first step is to change this shorthand to a subnet mask so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so how many ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 So now, let me change it to submit mask, and this is 254 minus 1 because the first octet is 1, so it should be 254.0. And uh, let's find the network ID before the first valid ID, as we said. The three rule says if you have 255, you just put the IP address, and if you have uh, 254, 256 minus 254 equals 2. So we have to increment uh, this to until we get 96. So let's get back our calculator. Our friend calculator 2 plus 2 plus 2. Ninety. Ninety four, ninety six plus two, ninety eight. So ninety eight is the magic number so before it was 96 98 so we always use for the network ID a number which is before the last number so 96 is our 
uh, network ID. So uh, the question asks for the first valid IP address. So it should be 172.29.96. And because we have zero, we use zero. Uh, sorry, plus one equals one. 172.29. 29 sorry dot 96 dot 1 should be the correct first valid IP so let's go to the next question enter the maximum number of valid subnets and usable host per subnet that you can get from this IP address so this asks for the the total number of subnet and the host pair subnet. So how we do that? Let's write the uh, IP address first, and then the second step: change this 22 to the subnet mask. So sixteen. This is 20, 21, 22. This is two zeros left and okay, so two five five, two five five, and this is two five five minus one three, two five two dot zero. So this is equals two five two. How you know that? You have to do a calculation. One twenty eight plus sixty four plus thirty two plus sixteen plus eight plus four. So this is six octet. One two three four five six. If you get our calculator. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 equals 252. So our subnet mask is like this. So now let's find the first valid and uh, oh sorry the question asks for the maximum number of subnet. So for subnet after we convert this to octet actually we don't need the subnet mask but uh, it is good practice to find the subnet mask but for the uh, maximum number of subnet what we do after we change this to octet the second step is identifying which uh, IP classes you have because we have 172 uh, we have uh, class uh, number 2 in uh, class B we have class B and in class B we have two network portion and two host portion so all our work will be on this portion so what we do the subnet number equals two times the number of the octet which is on we have six and equals let me bring the calculator so two times six equals sixty four and for the host pair subnet equals two times we have eight zero and two zero here so it means ten minus two so two power ten equal a minus two equals so we have one thousand and twenty two host one thousand twenty two and we have 64 subnet correct
So let's go to next question. Enter the last valid host on the network. So all the questions are same if you know the basic. So it is easy to solve all the questions. So we have uh, an IP address 29.174.0. And the shorthand is this. It asks for the last valid IP, so we find the broadcast. But before that, let's change this shorthand to a subnet mask. So we have this is 16. We have one number missing, and this is 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 0. So we have 255, 255, 255. This is not 255, 254, minus 1, and then 0. So for the broadcast, 172, 29, 174, not 74. We use this. We said for broadcast, if we have zero, we use two five five, and for two five four, what we do? Two five six minus two five four equals two, and we do increment the two until we get one seventy four. Let's get the calculator. Plus two. 176 so our number is 176 uh, minus 1 because it is broadcast we put it here it will be the the broadcast it will be the broadcast ID and it asks for the last valid we Minus 1 will be the last IP. So 172, 29, 75, 254 is the last value. So let's just put it there and see if our answer is correct. Correct. I hope you enjoyed uh, with us how to solve questions about subnetting. If you find this information useful, Please share it in order your friends knows about it. This video is always here, so when you need it, you can come back and visit and watch it again. Thank you. See you next time.